Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. We're gonna redo another old one today. So this one's a pretty popular acoustic lesson I did a long time ago. Um, and it's time for a little bit of a redo here um, and kind of update the video technology and all that great stuff. Um, so I uh, hope you guys, maybe you guys have seen that before. This might be just a little refresher for you. Of course, it's a new song for you guys to learn. It's a great one. It's got some really, some challenging stuff going on in the rhythm guitar parts, but then it's got Paul Goodwin's got a great little finger style solo in there as well, too. So I hope you guys uh, will follow along. Before I get into it, though, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Ring that notification bell so you know at least a new video and you can kind of like and comment on it. It really helps push the channel and get seen, help, helps it get seen by more people, and um, which helps the channel out a lot. Um, and if you really uh, like what I do here on YouTube and want to support me in the best way, join My Guitar Academy. You'll see a link to that in the description below. My Guitar Academy is basically the home to all my guitar courses. Um, that link will give you a free seven day trial, by the way. Uh, my courses cover everything from complete beginner stuff to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, and theory. Uh, even there's a complete guitar tone course. Uh, I'm starting to do live courses now too. So I, as I do the course, you can ask me questions uh, along the way. So it's really cool. Um, so I'm going live there a few times a week. Uh, with just academy members, we can chat and get your questions answered. Um, it's a great community we got going, so please come join us. All right, so let's uh, start here with this song. So I'm in standard tuning here, um, and we're gonna start. There's a lot of bar chords, so if you're not like if you're just starting out and you just can't play bar chords, probably not the best song for you to try to learn it on. Um, there's a lot of bar chords, and there's some uh, really crazy stretches a little bit going on in the chorus. Um, especially if you don't have a thumb like Paul Gilbert, which he's, his thumb is uh, quite long. So um, if you're an average thumb, it's going to be pretty difficult, but I'll give you kind of an easier way of doing it too. So let's start here first with the verse. So that starts with a C sharp minor bar chord. So that's going to be a bar of the fourth fret there across from the high E string all the way to the A string. Um, and then in front of that bar, you'll have the fifth fret there on the B string, sixth on the G string, and sixth on the D string. So we have. So we go from there to just a standard E major. Now, for just the open position chords, if they're just common open position chords, I'm just gonna call the name out. I'm not gonna really show you if nobody knows how to play it. If you don't know those chords very well, just go to guitarlessons365.com, click on free lessons at the top, and you'll see kind of detail, then click beginner. Um, you'll see detailed lessons on all the A major, C major, D major, E major, G major, all that stuff, the basic open position chords that you, kind of the first things you learn on guitar, um, kind of really detailed with charts and up close uh, <clears throat> videos and stuff. So it's a better way to learn it anyway. So anyway, we have after that C sharp minor to the E major, we go to an A sus two. Now this chord, you might not be familiar with, it's very easy. It's just like an A major chord, but you're gonna have the B string open. So the open A string in the second fret of the D and the G, but the open B and open high E. So. So it's an A sus two chord. So we have the C sharp minor. And then back to the E. So it's a four chord progression, just those four chords. Up. I didn't sing intentionally at the beginning of this video, by the way, because he's Eric Martin. This is a really high vocal line, and uh, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, it's too early over here <laughs> for that kind of stuff. Anyway, so that is the, the verse that opens up. It's just that progression done twice, and then uh, so we have to do that twice. So after the second time of uh, going through those four chords. We go back to an A sus two chord, and that A sus two chord is going to start the pre chorus. So it's like this. So 
All right, so it's pretty easy at the beginning here. We're to that A sus two. So that's the kind of vocal line going on. Just the A sus two to an E major. And then you do that again. From there, it goes to a D major chord. And then we're going to end it here. Now, on the on the album, you don't hear the seventh. This is a dominant seven, a B seven chord, B dominant seven. On the album, you don't hear the actual flat seven that much. That's what makes it a, a dominant seven chord. Um, but you do hear it live quite a bit. So I'm assuming it's on the it's kind of buried in the mix a little bit. Um, so we'll we'll do it here. You can play this like a normal B major chord if you want. That sounds fine too. Uh, but we'll do it as a B7 since he usually does that live. So this is barring across the second fret from the high E string all across to the A string. And then you're gonna, in front of it, you're gonna have the fourth fret there on the D and the fourth fret there on the B. And that's it. So that note on the G string there, it's at the second fret there on the G. And that's what makes that a dominant seven chord, that note. Like I said, you could just smush it and make it a B major chord. We'll do this chord in a second, it's in the chorus. But you could lead it into the chorus. Sounds good to do it like that. So we basically have this. And then that takes us to the chorus. Now, the chorus is a, it's a simple chord progression. It's basically, he's just doing this. E, E major to A sus2, so the, just pretty much the same chords. And then back to that, to a now to a B major chord. So this is just the second fret there on the A string. And I'm just barring, just regular B major, not a B7 or anything. Just the uh, fourth fret across the D, G, and the B. So you have that there, second fret on the A. So it's just the four middle strings. And then back to the E. So that's the actual progression. It's just E, A sus2, B, B, and you just start over. So that's pretty easy, but it's this Paul Gilbert, and he's a complete world class virtuoso. So he's gonna make he's gonna throw something in here that is just almost impossible for most people to do. And that is he follows Billy Sheehan's bass line on the low E string while he's playing that E chord. So what that means, I don't know why, because he also Billy Sheehan's one of the greatest rock guitar bass players of all time. Just let him do the bass line. Why do we have to do it? But he joins him on it. So what he does is as he's strumming the E, we have this little, little bass line that happens. So you do that, the open E, then he uses his thumb to grab the second fret while you're still holding that E. That's the problem. Um, you grab the thumb, the second, the thumb is gonna grab the second fret on the low E string. And then, to make matters even more interesting, the fourth fret with your pinky. So he has this. And then back to the opening. Uh, not, not a lot of fun. And what he does is it's like, it's like he's just, he can do it in his sleep. It's just crazy. So I've kind of strummed the chord while you are doing that. But so it's not a fun move. Um, and then it goes to the A sus2. Nothing going on on that one. And then there's that B major. And then back to the E. So all together.
So it sounds fine omitting that bass line, letting your bass player do it, or just if you're singing, you're playing acoustic guitar by itself. So, so it's not a it's not a huge deal to admit it, but it is there in the song, and and that bass line is pretty prevalent. Uh, so. So first and second chorus is just like this. You don't do anything except just those that progression four times. So it's just that progression four times with that little bass line going on on the on the E chord. Um, so then we get to the same verse. Same chorus. So I'm saying, I keep saying the same chorus because um, after this chorus, when we do the chorus after the solo sections, there's an extra little chord that are thrown into each one of them. We actually play the chorus in two different keys at the end, uh, but each time we're adding, we're going to add another chord to the uh, chord progression. So that's coming up. Anyway, uh, before this, so after this second chorus, we have right before the solo, we have a bridge. Um, which is just three chords, looks like this. Into the solo. So the uh, so it's just basically an E uh, that A sus two. Just kind of strum it once, maybe hit it, and then that C sharp minor chord. And then it goes to a G major chord. And then we get to Paul Gilbert's solo. So uh, more recently, I've seen him play this solo with a pick, uh, but it's originally played with just, just finger style. So um, you'll notice while I'm, well, I'm going to play the solo for you real quick, but while I'm doing it, I'm taking my, my the actual pick and I'm holding it with my middle finger between those two knuckle joints there. And that's, that's where I'm hiding it. And then all the finger style stuff is actually just gonna be happening with uh, mostly just these these two fingers. But he does actually even use that briefly, the, the, the finger that's holding the pick um, to actually pick a string a couple times. So you'll see that coming up. So let me play through it for you real quick. So um, I'm gonna so I'm holding this pick here uh, just with that middle finger, and we're gonna start. We're playing the second fret there on the D, first fret there on the G. So the 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 low notes being whenever I play these two notes together, the low notes being played with the thumb, and then the index fingers uh, taking the higher string. So the the G string here. So we're gonna play these two notes, second fret on the D, first on the G. And then we're going to play the 4th fret there on the D, 2nd on the G, and then slide it up 2 frets. So you get kind of a staccato, he doesn't go, he goes, da, da, so when you just pick that chord, kill it. So after you slid to this uh, 4 and 6 here, you're going to play the 5th um, fret there on the B. Once again, a little staccato thing. Uh, then the next little um, really double stop is that seventh fret there on the D, sixth on the G. And then move the note down, just keep the note there on the D string, but move that note on the G string from six down to four. And pick those two strings again. So we have this.
Then we're gonna do a bar here across just the two middle strings, fourth fret on the D and the G. So you just pick it once, and then when you pick it again, it's kind of like a quick little grace note. You're gonna do a quick hammer into the, on. you still got the note on the G string, fourth fret, you're picking that still, but you're hammering four to six on the D. And that hammer, you're barely hearing that first note. It's just straight into the uh, hammer. So we have, so you do that twice. We got, all together. All right, and then there's a little bass line. That's just on the bass. Uh, then we start over with the same thing again. Now when we get here, we're gonna jump instead of going. So the same thing leading up to that. When we get to that chord, the seven and the six, the second time through, we're gonna jump over here, which is the fifth fret there on the B and the fourth fret on the high E string. And then, <laughs> so you got that four and a five, and then you're gonna jump down here to the um, second fret there on the high E string. So just with your index finger, you pick that note, hammer on four, pull back off to two, pull off to the open string. So when you get down to that open E, then you're gonna pick the your thumb, uh, your thumb's gonna pick at least the B string, open B, and then pick the open high E with your index finger. So this. Then pick the B and the high E together again. And then you come down and just whack the low E string. So this. So all together. start with the same little uh, figure again. So we do that much of it at least. Down to that seven and four chord. But now instead of doing, we have this. So after you get there, you're gonna come up here and play a B major chord first. That's the seventh fret there on the B, eighth on the G, and ninth on the D. Now this is where he actually does use the finger that is holding the pick to just finger pick that B string. So we have a three note chord, so he uses all three of these fingers. Kind of like a little claw technique he's got. You play that, and then we're gonna come up here to a C sharp minor chord. And that's gonna be the ninth fret on the uh, G and the B and the 11th fret there on the D. I'm gonna pick that a couple times. And then you're done using that uh, the middle finger to pick with. It's just those two chords. Then we have this little lick that comes in that's pretty quick. So like I said, you see him play them. He plays them. He picks it now, but um, I, I, well, a lot of times when I see it, but uh, on the video, he's, he's kind of bouncing his hand and using mostly his index finger to pick all the notes. Just, uh, but um, So it doesn't really matter how you pick it. You can alternate the two fingers. You can use your thumb, the lower strings, which is odd, and kind of doing it. And then, and then basically when I get up, those first three notes I'm playing with my thumb, and then um, all the rest of the figures, I can just use the thumb for anything on the G string, the, the index or anything on the B. It's not like a trained finger style technique part. It's, it's not. He's doubling a lot of, he's using the same finger over and over again, and it's, it's kind of repeating. So um, anyway, so we're, the line itself is, 
You're gonna slide into the 11th fret there on the A, then play 9-11 on the D. Then you kind of come over to the um, 9th fret there on the G string. So 9th on the G, 12th on the B, back to the 9 on the G, then play 10-9 on the B. So. I'm gonna kind of continue this line on the B string by going up to 10, 12, and then come over, slide into the ninth fret there on the G, and then play 11 on the D. And that's the end of that kind of fast lick. So we have this. From here, we're gonna jump back to that chord that we did earlier which is the 4th uh, fret on the high E string and 5th fret there on the B. And that same little, that kind of same look we did before. But here, remember when he did this like before, he hit those, he did the whole A, and then he just hit the B and the high E together. He does that again, except if he, these, together like that, he does it as a harmonic. So you're gonna jump up here and just grab, we're gonna hit the B and the high E together, but you're gonna hold that harmonic at the 12th fret there on the B and the high E, or hit it, like I said. And as that rings, he does a quick slide to end the solo from 11 to 13 on the G. So it's a challenging solo. It's got some challenging stuff in the song. Um, it's Paul Gilbert. It's going to be that way all the time. Uh, so anyway, then we get coming out of that uh, solo, we have the pre-chorus again. So same thing we did before. And it kind of, it kind of stops here on that B7. And we kind of build up there. And then it goes from there into the chorus again, but now the chorus is moved to the key of G major. And we do it four times in the key of G major, then we go back to the original chorus in E to end the song. Um, the, now the, these chorus sections are gonna have an extra chord thrown in there. So let me see if you can pick it up. I'll show you where it's at. So it looks like this. So we're going to start here with the G. So you'll see at times sometimes when I'm doing the strumming, I'm kind of doing a lot of downstroke, especially on the first chord of the chorus each time. It's because I'm trying to bring out that low note on the on the, the lower notes, little bass line. So we're even doing that on the G. So we have this... We have a little bass line that goes... So that's just a regular G major chord, but we have that... Third fret down the low E is the first note of the bass uh, of the bass line. Open A, then two on the A, and then back to that root note there on the third fret of the G um, on that G note there. So we have that underneath the chord. So that's why I'm kind of hitting instead of going. I'm kind of really accenting it so you can hear that bass line come out. Hitting those low notes there. And then it just goes to a regular C major chord, then a D, 
add that back to that G. So that's the G major chord, chorus chords for now. So we just basically have this. time through the progression here, we're going to add, instead of going, we add, we go from that D chord, the D, to an E minor. So that's the little added chord in there that we haven't seen yet in the chorus. And then, it, so basically replace going back to the G, which went to the E minor instead. And then, then we go to, um, so uh, back to the uh, G to start it over. And the, and the fourth time through is just like the first two. So we basically have this. So it ends with the G there. And then again. Now the third time through. substitute and then we go back to start it over again and this time it ends with a G again so we just substituted uh, that chord that E minor uh, that G major with E minor now we're gonna do the same treatment to the chorus that we did earlier so now we're back in E we did uh, earlier in the song. Now here the third time we're gonna instead of coming back to this E for the end of the chorus we're gonna now replace it with its minor chord the substitution that you can do from this B instead of going back to the E minor we're gonna go I mean to the E major we're gonna go up to that C sharp minor chord that we did in the verse there. So It's just the third time through that chord progression there at the end of the song and then the fourth time through we just go back to the old version of it that just goes back to the E not the C sharp minor so the E version uh, here at the end kind of one more time to end it out, kind of slows down as we go to kind of finish this off. Alright, and that is about it for To Be With You. It's a great song, a uh, great acoustic song here, uh, but it's got some challenging stuff to it. So there's some things that you can do that make it a little bit easier. Just don't do the bass line when you're doing the chorus. Uh, just keep it with the basic chords and it makes it much easier to play. Um, and then you get that solo, which uh, there's no really way to make that easier. Just, just gotta play it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.